father because no one can call a person a father unless he is so about the father he said only true god relationship. You see, he's not just father that's what i was saying he was revealing to the world that the one who called god is a father to me but he said only true god he is true only true god exactly yeah. so who's the one true god what I'm who is that feeling to you. but why are you why are you reluctant to answer no, who is the I one true god reluctant. I so, was so answer then answer i was explaining answer who's the one true god him the father who is the one true god who according to jesus you see this is what i mean now if you are here How to defend you want me to answer if you are here to defend christianity yes, we are here. then you shouldn't be concealing the truth i'm not concealing the truth so, on what so what? on what ground I'm on the ground that when i asked you like several times yes. according to jesus do you believe jesus is your role model so the, yes he is do you believe that everything jesus done is perfect yes do you believe everything he teaches is perfect yes okay so when he came to teaching about god yes. who did he teach you sorry what did he teach you is the one true god it's the God of Israel, of course. And that is? It's Yahweh. But the Yahweh is not in John. So who is it? it, it, it no, serious. Why are you afraid to say the Father? The, listen, the God, the Father, yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's something intimate between two persons who is like in a human in a human understanding, the one who gives love to one. No, no, yeah? no the no, Father. No, the father I is have some, a father. I'm a physical yeah. father, yes? You're, you're a man of a no father. No one can father, call my father, father my father. Only me who can call my father, my father. So that's what he was representing. He was making himself equal to God. No, he did not. Be, he did not make him. He called him my God. What more you want? What did the Jews say? Don't go what, to the Jews. No, why did Stick the Jews to Jesus. Say? Stick they to Jesus. They say, you've been a man making yourself equal to God. No, you're, and, and Jesus, did he accept that's that? The Jews did he accept that? Of course he accepted What did Jesus say? Respond to that. Let's see if he remembers that. Jesus said, this is John 10, 30. Yes? Jesus in John 10 34 said that the Jews were called gods. Yes? No, 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 no. no? no I'm not talking Have you about not, you don't know your I'm gospel? Not, I'm, I'm not talking about that person. Yes, you are talking about that person. No, 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 it's the same. It's not Why not? Why not? Why are you afraid now? Know, Why are you afraid no, now? I'm not afraid. You see, Jesus. I know that one you're talking about, but the one I'm But did Jesus is respond to it or not? Okay, same when thing, right? Say, when he said to them, um, Yes, that you are called God. Yes. I know the, I know what did he mean by that? No, what one, did he mean? The one we're talking about is not the same. It's not the same. Okay, maybe, okay. It's, a, maybe anyway, it's a different, but anyway, the important yes. point I'm making from this is that Jesus himself acknowledges that God calls certain Jews gods. Yes. Yes. He and he called them the sons yes, of the Most High. Yes. yes By the way, you're blocking the camera, if you don't sorry, mind. Sorry. Yes. Reference that. Okay. So what do you need to do? You need to read your own Bible. No. And I you need to wait, wait. But it's what, not the, it's, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Was Jesus a perfect human being? He was. Okay. You see, the lady went away because of hackless like this. No. But anyway, because because, because he thinks that he's the one who is most strong in his faith and his understanding of no. the Bible. Let's put the test to him. Because at the end of the day, that lady didn't know much. Inshallah, I'll approach her again and speak to her. And maybe you, you might want to learn something from this conversation. When Jesus was here on earth, yes, was, did he believe, you know, as a human being, you expect him to believe and worship God. Yes, just like I expect you, if you are a believer in God, to believe in God. Yes, are you a Trinitarian? Do you believe, I believe the Trinity? in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As God, right? Yes. As the entity of okay. God, yes. Did Jesus, when he was a human on earth, was he supposed to believe and worship God? Yes. Was he supposed to worship God as a un as one yes. Unitarian God yes. or as a Trinitarian God? No. Jesus, as the, in the way the Jew understood who was God. I didn't ask you about Jesus. No, 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 no. I asked Sorry. in his belief, not in the Jesus as a person, as in, in his personality, as but in his belief. God of Israel. Okay, so was Jesus supposed to believe in a triune God like you? No, no he wasn't. No, no, no. So what what, see, this no, is what I mean. No, no. If Jesus, a perfect human no. being, did not believe in a trinity, me, why are you believing in a trinity? Let me make a statement. Go on, make a statement. Let me, make, let me make a statement. Let me make a statement. But a make statement. sure you answer no. based on yes, my question. Yes, yes. So course. my question is, why is Jesus a yes, Unitarian yes. and you are a Trinitarian? You see, Jesus was the revelation to the world by the Father. There was a one who came before Jesus to come and testify about Jesus. Yeah, John. Yes. Yeah. So, but this was a promise of God of whom shall be revealed to the world. What is that going to do with my question? Yes. Yeah. 
No, I'm, 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 I'm trying to establish the consistency of God's plan. No, but that wasn't my question. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's you always go into no. a teaching mode, no. preaching mode, no. when I, I ask you a question. I want to answer that. Okay, do you remember to my make question? you understand. It's important I ask you this question. Do you remember my Jesus question? Jesus was worshipping the Trinitarian yeah. God. No, that's, no, was he worshipping the Trinitarian God? That's what I'm coming to. I'm okay, trying good. to explain to you. Go on. This is, a, this is a process God has established on which he was going to reveal, he was going to reveal the Son. So you're saying Jesus world. didn't know how to, how to worship God? As a, as a Unitarian, he was worshipping God, Worship. not as a Trinitarian. Listen, listen to me. Yeah, answer I, that question. I'm, I'm explaining to you what? the meaning how Jesus was I revealed, the way Jesus was revealed to the world. And to make it even clear in his own time, God raised a person called John the Baptist to testify this is the one God promised and who was, shall save the world. What is that going to do with my question? Nothing. Nothing at all. No, it does. It does. So you agree he was a Unitarian? I want to establish. Not a Trinitarian. That is all. I want to establish. I want to establish what is, um, what is God already foretold will happen and through Jesus no no no, no need for that out. no need for that I, I, I have a no question. need for sorry, that sorry you have a question okay, okay. let's me for answer him that or for question me? let me answer that question now which question what, was it Trinitarian or Unitarian yes, yeah go on. Exactly. go on because that's what I was going into like uh, trying to establish um, the authenticity of Jesus Christ who was a revelation to the well, world. we know he was a messiah yes we know that he was prophesied before so no need to establish to a Muslim a Muslim already believes this. What I want you to establish is you are a Trinitarian and Jesus is actually not a Trinitarian like you. So you're the one on the false foot which Jesus never preached. So yeah, as we can see that Jesus during his own ministry himself used to worship God Almighty, the one true God. How I go to heaven? By believing in Allah and his messengers and his books and his servants. All the time. All the time. Attack? Yeah. Why do you think attack? Why do you think Christians worship Christ? Why are you so upset? Why are you upset? You always come and attack Jesus. Why don't you tell people how to go to heaven? I did. No, you don't. You don't listen. You don't talk about Abraham, you don't talk about Moses, you don't talk about Isaiah, you don't talk about any other prophet. Every Sunday here is always Jesus, it's always Jesus, always Jesus, all the time Jesus. Why? Are you are scared of Jesus, man. You are. This is what it hit and run. Is that you done? It will punish you. You done? Goodbye. You see, this is what they can do. All they can do here is hit and run. You are scared of Jesus Christ with the arrogance oh, on your face. I'm scared of Jesus Christ. By the way, I love Jesus Christ. He's, he's one of my mightiest messengers and we love him. You see, in my book, Jesus is not cursed like it is in your book. If you go to Galatians chapter 3, verse 13, it says that Jesus is the one who became a curse for you. So you see, if you're going to portray my, my leader Muhammad, alhamdulillah, a lot of good, a, a lot of good, which you're jealous of, I know. Because at the end of the day, if Jesus is the one that Muhammad acknowledges as the true Messiah and Prophet, it is Muhammad sallallahu who told us and who informed us of the fact that Jesus was not crucified by his enemies. This is the fact, this is what turned Christianity upside down in the terms of their enmity with the Muslims, that we do not accept Jesus, his crucifixion. Because if you read the Old Testament, you will see that he, there are many passages where he says that the Messiah will be saved. Yes, there are many passages which talks about the Messiah being, you see the reason, one of the reasons that the, that the, uh, the Jewish rejected Jesus as the Messiah is because he was crucified. Why? Because as far as they are concerned, the prophecies did not foretell them of a prophet of the Messiah being killed and massacred and crucified by his enemies. This goes against the belief. But anyway, if the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wanted to in fact bring the Christians to Islam, he could have just lied to them and said, yes, he was crucified and we believe in Jesus to be the Messiah. You see, it's a win-win case for Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It would be perfect for him to bring over and to win the punters from the Christian side. But he did not do that because what is important in Islam and specifically when it comes to the preaching of the messengers is to establish the truth. And the truth which was established is this, 
that Jesus was neither killed nor crucified. And this is something which is a belief in Islam and we believe that Jesus ascended, Isa alayhi salam ascended with his body to Allah and he will be coming in the second coming. And this is something that Jesus has no knowledge of when he's going to come because when Jesus was asked the question, yes, yes, now I'm addressing you because you're a Christian and you know in Mark 13, 32 when Jesus says, nobody knows the hour, not the angels in heaven, not the son except the father in heaven. See again, Jesus distinguishes himself from the father in terms of knowledge. In John 7 and 3, he distinguishes himself as a Christ from the one true God, which is his father. Do you not see the distinction between the father and the Christ? Okay, so why do you call them God, both of them? He is God for all human beings. Who is God for all human beings? You and me are human beings. Yeah. Who is our God? Jesus. No. Really? Yes. So who's the God for Jesus? Let's see that. You see, when I, if I can pull the our God, if I if I can pull the Isaiah 53, in Isaiah 53, yeah, God is speaking to the world. You see? Why are you going to the Old Testament when I'm giving you the New Testament? When you give me the New you see Testament, what I mean? Jesus is all see, preaching. Wait, well, it's for claim. The but New Testament the does New this many times. The two New Testament, yeah. the claims of the New Testament are backed up by the Old Testament. Like which one? So when Give me we one talk claim. About the Christianity, which claim you are talking sorry, about? When we talk about crucifixion, was there. Crucif I mean, uh, when we talk about the death of Jesus, it's backed up by the Old Testament. The death of Jesus. The death of Jesus. So yours, you believe that your God can die? Jesus died on the cross <laughs> because he was to be born for this reason, to die for the sins so of God. So your God, God is not only born, but he also dies? He died, yes. You see, this he is died completely the, the, the Quran we say we have the scripture to back up that's like what I'm pulling out but do you actually believe your God yes, can I die? Believe. I believe Jesus was crucified and died can and God rose, die? Can and God rose die? up okay. again can God die? he was prophesied he will be born he will crucify be crucified he will die and rose again can God die? and this was fulfilled whatever he died or not, this was the will of God. Can God die? Foretold. I ask you like three times so now. When you will you answer my question? Century after, and he claimed he never been clear, uh, he never been, uh, he never died. You are the one lying because you have nothing to back up. Why are you so afraid to answer the question then? No, can God die? Dies. He died. Jesus okay. died. Yeah. Can God die? God does not die. The God in his spirit nature, in his spiritual nature, God does not die. But this is a sacrifice of God. What do you mean in spirit nature? Listen. What do you mean by that? Can you? Yes. Do you die in your spirit yes. nature? Do you die in your spirit nature? Can I answer? I'm yes. answering you a question. Okay, go on. Don't twist. God, I'm not twisting. Can, can, can I'm God not die? answering. No. I'm sorry, not twisting. Jesus Christ was promised from Genesis three, yeah? the seed of the woman who was to come. You know, now you're preaching, you're not answering. I'm not. Yo, I'm not okay, what was my question? Let's see if you I'm remember. What is my I'm question? What's my question? Let's see if you remember. Please, please. Do you remember my you question? All the time do that. Yes, I do this you because you go into a preaching you. mode. So I have to do I'm this. I'm making a defense. Jesus, when you say God can die, I no, I ask, can God die? Not God exactly. can die. Exactly. Can God That's die? That's what I'm saying. When we're talking about Jesus Christ, yes. Jesus Christ, before he was even born, the scripture God already revealed. He will be born, but this person will suffer for the sins of his people. And he will die, but he will he so rose again. God, he so he is alive. So what happened in the New Testament is a fulfillment of the Old Testament. That's why I'm saying New Testament is backed up by the Old Testament. Okay, I listen we to you now. Make claim. I listen to you. You know when you when you ask me question, yes. I answer immediately instead of going into but a preaching that's what mode. I'm asking. No, 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 wait, wait. You do not you do not you you do not you do not, you do not, you do not